question seven. I can't see anything. You're so stupid. This lesson will cover the resolution and voxel grid and their benefits. These are weekly lessons. However, if you want to binge watch all the course videos, then join my early bird membership plan. So without further ado, let's jump to this lesson. So let's see in this lesson, what is the role of resolution inside Adobe Substance 3D Modeler? Now, whenever you create a play tool, it have voxels on it which is more like a number of polygons, or you can say uh, pixels of uh, a 3D model. Now, that can be increased or decreased with this plus and minus. The shortcut you can see is control equal to sign, uh, and you can see control, like to reduce control minus sign, okay? So this will increase or decrease that. As you hover over the like increase and decrease uh, like, sample oh, so sorry like the resolution you will see the voxel grid appearing on your model and the, this voxel grid is basically uh, your uh, number of polygons so if i will increase it a lot okay so the quality will be really high result will be good but my computer will become slower so, and if I'm using very low end computer, it will obviously become slow. So, suppose if I press spacebar, move it. So, now it is creating a very nice effect here. Okay. Uh, and if I will press uh, tab on my keyboard, and because like the reason uh, why I have this very smooth, uh, like, like clay model here, because my resolution is very high, you can see that. Now, similarly, if I will just re reduce it, okay increase the size of this in this way okay and then go to the split tool and press spacebar and go to the select which you can see that very in nice split object it has made with a very uh smooth or like you can say sh uh very nice quality of edges here now same thing I can do to show you what is the difference between the high resolution or in the roll resolution, like higher number of uh, voxels and lower number of voxels. So if I will go back here, okay, make something like a new object. Kind of like the same size of what we have here, okay, and then before applying it, I will reduce its voxels. Okay, so here I have reduced, uh, I have reduced the voxels and you can see uh, and compare the number of voxels here and here when I hover over the, uh, like, like the resolution option. Now, once this is done, I will press spacebar. Okay, and this is created. Now I can move out here. Okay, and I will, do the same thing as what I did in uh, this previous model. Okay, I stab on my keyboard. Okay, and I make sure I'm in the split option and if I press space bar here, I'm going to go to select. So you can see what is the difference. Just see how the edges are here. Okay, how abrupt, rigid the edges are. Just check the quality and check the quality of this. Okay and how smooth the edges uh, are, okay? There is some, uh, like, rigidness, but not that much, okay? But here, you it's, uh, it's very noticeable. So this is how the voxel grid affects your resolution. So higher your object, uh, higher your resolution is, smoother and nicer uh, object you will create. So you can see uh, from this distance how this looks like. Also, if I will select any one uh, of these models, let's like delete this part so we can have only one uh, object here. If I will go to the warp tool, okay, and placement, take the square uh, square here, okay. And if I press space bar and try to uh, rotate it, so just see how the result will be here. Notice 
the rigidness over here okay this low quality here same thing i will do here and just to uh, and we'll see how the result is diff uh, like like different so i will go here move this one a little bit outwards okay and i will press spacebar and start rotating this okay now let's compare the result see here how smooth this is and see here how rough this is so it's all about the voxels and, and the quality of it. now if i will go to the smooth tool now okay and smart and start smoothing uh the clay tool which have less uh, voxels okay uh lower resolution so it will get smooth easily okay but the one that which have a uh, high resolution and higher voxel grid will take some time to smooth out and you can see it's a little hard to uh, to make it look organic because there are so many voxels here that it takes a little time to smooth out so keep in mind higher your uh, your voxels are your smooth will be not uh it, it will not give you organic feeling here you can see it's more like organic feeling here it's more like a hard surface geometric feeling now let's let's see uh there is one more uh experiment i want to show uh, to do here let's delete this one and rotate this and also i will uh du duplicate this one this i will make it smaller put it down now when you turn any uh clay tool smaller so what happens the voxel grids okay are same on both suppose if i select both of them and you will you notice that the voxel the number of voxels are same okay however the distance uh is little far and if i will use a like a uh, warp tool on it so warp tool size is quite bigger which will affect a bigger area differently and smaller area differently here the result will be little different and will be regardless the number of voxels because here the result will be regarding uh, like will be more dependent on the size of the actual modifier like he, in this case it's the warp tool so if i will move uh if i will press space bar here and move it okay so you can see the result here and same thing if i will do on the the smaller one with the same size so result will be too strong you can see that so here it's uh, it's it's not about the, the voxel it's about the size of your a modifier here in this case the size of the modifier is about this uh like a, a warp tool now similarly if i will go to the clay build up tool Oh, uh, sorry. The shape builder tool, or uh, the the build build up tool, okay. And if I start drawing on the bigger of uh, like model here, so you can see how the result is. And if I turn the size smaller of my brush to do the same effect here, but you can see that the result is more finer. It's like uh like the build up is more closer. So if you zoom here and see the result how it is here and here how the result is this is a little bit far away and this is far apart so the uh when you reduce the size but not the voxels any modifier here that you will use it will work regarding the size of it, uh the size of the model and size of that uh like modifier in a, like a modified tool whether it is a warp tool or it's a build up tool so i hope uh it's now clear about the 
resolution. That's all for today. And in the next lesson, we will cover how we can make instances with the help of linking option inside a Ruby Substance 3D modeler. If you find my videos interesting and useful, then please click the like button and click on the bell icon to receive notifications about my new tutorials and courses. If you are watching my videos and have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe it now and share it with your friends so they can also subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and Amazon.com. The links are given in the description below. In the end, I would like to request that please watch my videos online and do not download them because this will affect my watch time hours which is quite demotivating for me and uh, if you want me to create continuously create these new courses so please subscribe to my channel and watch all my videos online also like them and share them so everyone take care stay connected and see you in the next class